Are you looking for an executive level four bedroom single family lakefront home in the beautiful city of Lake Elmo, Minnesota? Well then stay tuned because I think you're gonna love this place. What's going on everyone? This is Kyle Kasky with Mozzie Properties. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you a video walkthrough tour of 2575 Lake Elmo Avenue North. It is of the stunning four bedroom, single family home right across the street here. I just wanna show you guys what separates this property apart from the rest. We are situated on Lake Elmo. So you do have an awesome access here to the lake. It is absolutely stunning. As you can see, the docks pulled out. Um, there is a little deck area for hanging out right there. So let's make our way across the road here. I'll speed up the video and then we'll go check out the main home. I cannot wait to show you guys. All right, so here's a good look at the private drive. Got a couple trees out front. Beautiful time of year. So as I mentioned, we are in Lake Elmo, Minnesota within the Stillwater School District. It is primarily served. We have a beautiful four bedroom, three bathroom, single family home in front of you here. I cannot wait to show you guys the inside. As you can see, we've got a two car attached garage, ample amounts of parking space. You gotta have a little turn off here so you can easily pull straight out onto the road. So give you guys a quick shot of the outside. You have your wraparound front deck here to look out at the lake. Absolutely stunning especially this time of year. So we'll go on through the front door, check it out. Right, so on entering, we do have a lot of home to cover. I'll try to get through everything as quickly as I can, but on the main floor here, we have our stunning kitchen, two bedrooms, and also laundry room, and a massive living room to show. So I'll start here in the kitchen, kind of work my way around. We have these granite countertops, the little breakfast bar area, Drink your morning cup of coffee. Tons of cabinetry. I do believe it is maple. It looks absolutely stunning. And then just in this corner with the bay window would be a nice spot for kind of a little table for an eating kitchen style area, I'd say. Look out at the backyard. Couple details. We're gonna have electric cooktop here with your vent hood. That is nice to have if you're into cooking. And then we're going to have our stainless steel sink the gorgeous window, I'll give you a sneak peek of the backyard there to look out at while you're doing the dishes. Other details, we're gonna have a French door fridge right here, which is absolutely stunning. Show this off, super clean. Everything in this home has been well taken care of. You're going to have your microwave up top, your oven down below, and then a warming drawer as well. And you'll just notice tons of areas for storage and prepping while you're cooking. You have this whole section here, some nice glass-faced cabinetry, adds to the character. This loops towards the living room, so we'll go check this out. Absolutely stunning view of Lake Elmo in the background. We're going to have carpet in this section of the home that will be professionally shampooed prior to the move. recessed lighting up top, and then this piano will be removed as well. You do have a nice chandelier right here overlooking the bay window. Perfect spot for your formal dining area. Host your family and friends for the holidays. Fantastic space. So that just wraps around back to where we started. We'll check out our first bedroom here on the main floor. This is the smaller of the two. So I would say you could fit a full-size bed comfortably on that wall. And we'll just open up some of these closet doors here. There is a light up top. Don't have that on. And your second closet here. So that covers bedroom number one. Definitely a good sized room for a kid's room. Here is going to be a full bath on the main floor here. So you have your toilet straight ahead, tile floors, and then awesome built-ins here. Your sink 
vanity, tons of cabinetry up top with your mirrors built in. Looks great. And we'll check out our shower tub combo here. Nice tile work. Everything is super clean, well taken care of. Close that up. This door is gonna take us upstairs. We'll check that out in just a sec. Bear with me here. We're going to have a couple extra goodies on the main level. So our walk-in pantry space here, tons of built-ins galore, ready to go. And we're gonna go check out the backyard here. Wow, we can, so. Just about under an acre of land, I believe. We got a new septic mound recently installed. There is a storage shed right there that will be available to use. You got a service door coming in from our two-car garage and a nice maintenance-free deck here to relax on. Okay. That covers backyard. We'll check out our laundry room on the main floor here. So washer and dryer, these will stay. You have a nice utility sink and then tons of cabinetry for storing detergent and whatnot. And if that wasn't enough storage, you do have another coat closet here off the rear entry. All right, we'll check out our second bedroom here. This is the primary bedroom. You can easily fit a king size bed, no problem. I love the green kind of sage color on the walls. Got soft plush carpet in here. We'll check out our ensuite bath. Again, nice cabinetry with the sink vanity. Got your mirror in between. And then tile floors, again, your toilet and standing shower. This also is a tiled shower. Grout lines are in great shape. And then you do have a little bench there. Okay, the air mattress will get removed. Don't worry about that. And then we'll check out the closet here. So pretty massive closet that stretches all the way down. And then you do have kind of like a little shoe shelf down below, which is pretty cool. We'll close that up. And then all the carpet in the home is going to be professionally shampooed prior to the new move. Got a nice linen closet here outside the primary. Utilize every nook and cranny in this home. So that pretty much covers everything on the main floor. We'll go upstairs and we'll check out our additional bedrooms. So just up a couple sets of stairs here. At the top of the landing, we're going to have bedroom number three on our right and then bedroom number four is gonna be down the hall. So we'll check out bedroom number three. You've got beautiful hardwoods upstairs here. This is a pretty good size room, I would say. You can fit a full size bed pretty comfortably in here. Check out the closet. Got a nice light fixture up top. All right, and this overlooks the backyard. At the top of the landing here, you kind of have a cool little loft space. You could set some chairs up, turn this into a home office. You got a nice view of the lake from up here as well. Tons of built-ins. We'll check out our bath up here. So nice sink vanity. You got a medicine cabinet up top. Tons of storage. And then you got your toilet in the back and then your standing shower right here. So again, tile goes all the way up to the ceiling in this one. Looks fantastic. Very clean our fourth and final bedroom. So, this one kind of has two parts, which is pretty cool. It can easily fit, I would say, full-size bed again. No problem in this corner. Maybe a queen if you wanted to stretch it out. You got built-ins, kind of bookcase there. And then our closet is right here. It's got two shelves. Tons of windows in this bedroom, and then all the bedrooms, they will have blinds that are super nice. So that covers everything upstairs. We'll go make our way back down 
and we'll go check out our lower level. So, back through the kitchen. A couple other details that I forgot. We've got a closet here, right off the front door. And then our garage, I'll just show that off quick. I know some people like to see. There's a couple cabinets on that back wall, a standard two car garage, both with automatic openers. You got a couple windows in here. And then most of these personal items are gonna get cleared out. Okay. And so straight ahead, this will take us to our lower level. So appreciate you guys watching the entire video. If you made it this far, we're just about done. So downstairs here, unfinished lower level. You do have a pretty cool old vintage uh, oven here. Wouldn't use that too much <laughs> personally, but got our furnace, nice newer high efficiency furnace, tons of storage space. So you got some shelving, extra shelving over here. So and then kind of a blank canvas for you to use however you like. So you have a newer water heater as well. And then we're going to have a dual utility sink, um, water softener system, and then it looks like there's an extra fridge there, which is nice. All right. And that about wraps up this video walkthrough tour, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do have any questions about the property, or if you're just interested in applying, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll put my contact info up on the screen. Otherwise, thank you guys so much again for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye now.